Somebody has made a huge mistake. Somebody has dropped the ball. I need all of you who watch this vlog to listen to this and quickly help me get to the people to fix this problem. Together, we can do this. Hi, I'm David Daniels from Chick Publications. Over the last year, I've been learning so much from the Codex Sinaiticus website. The experts at www.codexsinaiticus.org made an excellent project of putting the text that no one, not your professor, not your professor's professor, generation after generation, all the way back to 1862, has been able to see before with his or her own eyes. This has been nothing short of amazing. But since 2009, the experts at CodexSinaiticus.org have made sure that the entire text was carefully laid out and scientifically photographed without altering its original appearance in any way. As it says on their website, from 6 July 2009, the Codex Sinaiticus website features all extant pages of the Codex. Every line. Every cut-up piece of vellum, every darkened piece, even the ones found after the secret place was accidentally revealed in 1975 at St. Catherine's Monastery, was put in its place as part of the Codex Sinaiticus. It's been a work of very fine, careful craftsmanship. And the work is not done either. Just like Codex 2427 was carefully tested and proven not to be genuine, Codex Sinaiticus needs to be tested, but people need to be able to see it for themselves. For years, all we students saw was a single picture of John 21. Suddenly, the website has changed. Now today, on the Sinaiticus site, you only see a scrap from St. Catherine's of Genesis 2126 to 2217. You can't see Genesis 24, which is missing the margins on the very page that Simonides said he had written into the margins. Of course, a copy of it is in my video and will be in my book, but that's not the same as you being able to see it and evaluate these things for yourselves. Viewing the Sinaiticus on this website allows for experts in the field and pastors and teachers who've been touting the Sinaiticus all these years to quickly call attention to all this historic heritage. Now, it seems to be vanishing away before our very eyes. I showed you in my vlog series something funny about Sinaiticus, how you can zoom in and see all the textual errors that scholars write about and put in your Bibles for yourselves. I showed you how the choirs of 16 pages each that Tischendorf took to the King of Saxony in 1844 were white, and the ones that stayed in the monastery and were taken by Tischendorf 15 years later in 1859 were darker and stained looking. You could see that by turning from page to page, digitally, between choirs. But we've discovered that at least since about December 17, 2016, only the first leaf front recto and back verso is visible. And all the work those scientists went to to show the physical description, color data, thickness, page dimensions, and notable observations that Brother Mike Mickey so carefully recorded from the site have disappeared. In fact, people now cannot even zoom into a single page. Something must be done. Somebody's wrecking the website. Maybe it is all a mistake. Maybe the web designer retired and the others don't know how to fix it. Maybe they had to switch web servers or hard drives or computers or configurations. Or maybe another company handles their work. But whatever happened, evidence that the scholars use on a daily basis to rewrite their Bibles and question basic doctrines like the physical resurrection of Christ, the ascension of Christ into heaven, whether Jesus was the Son of God before or only after his baptism, and whether he's God manifest in the flesh at all, according to my own Greek teacher, 
hinge upon proper reading and interpretation of the Codex Sinaiticus, and it's literally disappearing before our very eyes. Remember, according to the website, this website is the main medium for making Codex Sinaiticus accessible. What can you do? Find a way to contact the people at www.codexsinaiticus.org and get them to put all those years and decades of hard work back online. Until they're able to correct the error on their server, at least you can see crucial parts in my vlogs that I've commented upon extensively. Will you help? And when you contact them, please ask them to go back to their original promise and actually scientifically test the Sinaiticus vellum, ink, etc., like they did for Codex 2427 and many other manuscripts. Thank you so much for your help and your prayers. Hopefully, some of you big names out there can have some pull, especially the ones who've written the books on Sinaiticus and made a living off of telling people to trust it. Thank you so much for your help. One way or another, together, we can make a difference. I hope I have in my way just now. God bless you, and have a wonderful day.